Fab Five Freddy told me everybody's fly. DJ spinning, I said my my. And here we are for Toys Era the Alpha, the one six scale version of Soldier Boy from the TV show The Boys. Great box, it's very small in size, doesn't take up too much room, and it has that glossy look like premium Toys the Hero. Here's a standard pose of Jensen Ackles as Soldier Boy, and I gotta say, this is a very good figure. So So Toys is gonna be coming out with their own version of Soldier Boy in the coming months, but if you need to get it now, this is not a bad figure to get. I think So So Toys makes some great stuff, so we'll see if it could compete, but I don't think you would be unhappy getting this figure. What's in the box? So here we have the shield. The shield has some good paintwork on it, as you can see here with the details of the black, but it's plastic and it has these, I feel, somewhat flimsy armbands in the back. You gotta be careful. Take off the, the hands before you put it on and then put the hand on. Here's the head sculpt of Jensen Ackles playing Soldier Boy. I love this head sculpt. Apparently Justin's Collection, who is a great channel that does reviews, said that one of the creators for Hot Toys named Yixie did these head sculpts. And you could see it in the work. Uh, the helmet one is great. I, I just don't like the look of it personally from the show. I don't think the work is bad. I just think it's goofy looking. Buddy, you think you look strong? You're wearing a cape. Here's a little handgun that comes with the figure. Uh, it's made out of plastic and the actual clip does come out of the bottom of the gun, which is a little neat. And that also comes with this little holster. Uh, you just clip this on a little loop on Soldier Boy's waist and then put the gun in it. The knife has some decent paintwork on it. It's pretty cool looking like Bowie knife and it's made out of plastic. Here is the sheath for the knife, and that clips on the same spot where the gun does, so you gotta pick one or the other. For hands, we have a standard fist for the right hands, and then a fist for the left hands. For the right hand, you have a uh, gun holding hand with the trigger finger that's available to put through the uh, slot on the gun. And then we have a, a knife holding hand or whatever you want to put in the hand, honestly. I put a bottle of uh, one six scale Ardbeg scotch. And then you got a um, cigarette holding hands, which is, I think, the, the best accessory that comes with this, to be honest with you. And then we have a uh, just normal open hands. I, you could probably put the cigarette in this also between the fingers, and then same on the other side. Or this could be like him grabbing someone if he needed to do like a fighting pose. And in a very standard stand with no name plate on it, but it has the crotch grabber on it also, um, it does the job. And here we have the one six scale smokable object, I'll call it, because we don't know what's in it. You might want to lay off the weed, huh? And you might want to gargle my ball sack. But use your imagination, it's the boys. I love this suit. You can feel every bump of the pattern on it. You can feel the emblem above it is raised. Everything in the suit that should be raised, as it is on Jensen's suit in the show, is raised. It creates really cool shadows, has a good feel to it, and it just really has a presence on the shelf. Getting to the scarf on the neck, I really thought they were going to make this out of fabric, and I didn't think it was going to look right and it would fall differently for every single owner but they made it out of the same material as the suit. So the actual scarf just stays in the same spot every time and never wavers and never falls down and looks weird, it's great. The back of the suit has a star on it. Again, great textures. Every detail is there from the suit on the show. And there's really nothing to complain about. Look no further, this is Jensen Ackles from The Boys. I'm someone that watched 15 seasons of Supernatural, so I feel like I know what this guy looks like at this point. And at this angle, this is him. This artist, Yixi, that also worked for Hot Toys and, and did some head sculpts for them, did a fantastic job. This is Jensen Ackles all over the place. The paint application on the hair could use a little bit of work, but everything I feel like is great. So disclaimer, the bottle of Ardbeg is mine, that comes from another figure, but the cigarette, the, the knife, the shield, I, everything is what you would need for Soldier Boy. So there's really nothing to complain about here. You couldn't really ask for much more.
So this is one of my major gripes is the articulation. With the head, you really can't move it up to the left and to the right. There's really no issues there. But where the issues come in are on the, the joints. Moving the arm up is a bit of a struggle and moving it to the side is pretty much non-existent. That's about as high as you can get it going up. Makes it a little hard to do fighting poses. It's the same on both sides. With the legs, it's pretty much terrible. That's about as high as you'd lift the leg. I could barely get his shield laying down flat underneath his foot. So you're going to be very limited when it comes to poses for this figure because of the suit. And that's the problem with a lot of these suits. They look great. We've seen this with Captain America figures. But limited mobility makes it really hard to pose the figure in a very dramatic, theatrical way. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you want an extremely poseable figure, this is not the one for you. I can't tell if the legs are too long and they're making the midsection look too long, or the midsection's too long and it's making the legs look too long, but the proportions are off here somewhere. It could be both, but if you just hold the figure in your hand and you stare at it, there's something that's too long there. If you're a fan of the boys and you're a fan of Jensen Ackles' character, Soldier Boy, I'd say this is definitely worth getting. It has a presence on the shelf. You could stand it next to Captain America and it still stands out. But more importantly, it's one of those characters that's funny. And how many funny figures do we have in our collection? But the cool thing to do is just say no. God, I sound like a jackass. Who approved this script? They're all Marvel or Star Wars or maybe some other random third party figures. But, you can get this now, wait till the So So Toys one comes out, and if you like that one more, you can sell this one, or you can get both. I think it's sort of a win-win, because it's still a very good figure, and you're really not going to get a much better head sculpt. What's my final score? 7.9, I don't give a out of 10.